Support the Ramen Raider on Patreon. Thanks to all our patrons. This is Hans with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. Today we got one from Ace Cook. This is a black shoyu ramen. I'm curious about that, and we will see what happens. This comes out of an Akama Noodles box, and Akama Noodles come from Meow Mall. This is uh, it's a fancy, fancy Japanese variety, folks. So it's, uh, this comes from a Nakama Noodles box. Go to miauboxjapan.com. Use the coupon code TheRamenRater for a discount. That's what you do. So here, it comes in a plastic cup. And these are kind of handy, actually. I, I really enjoy these thoroughly. Five minute countdown, don't you? Well, the weather's gotten nice, except it's really, really humid. Uh, and that's hot. But yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. We'll see what, what happens. I like this track. This is great. Kind of wistful. I like the whole wistful kind of retro thing going on. It's, uh, yeah, it's the 1st of July, which means the 4th of July is just around the corner, folks. And what will happen? God only knows. Probably not much, but could be cool. I'm just hoping it gets a little less humid. That would be really enjoyable. I got a big, bolt, big old bug bite on the side of my leg. It's kind of itchy. It's very repetitive, but it's quite nice. You just need a little guitar doing high-pitched tremolo kind of... Something. Well, what's been going on this week? We made pizza. Uh, ah, we watched... Uh, we watched Furiosa, and we're almost done watching... Uh, Fury Road. I'm a huge fan of uh, Mad Max stuff. So, yeah, we're going to finish up uh, Furiosa and uh, Fury Road. They're all right. If you like, I mean, if you like action, there's a lot of action. Like, a ridiculously large amount of action. Hey... Who doesn't want an extremely large amount of action? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's July now. Wow. It's summer. Stuff going on. Took the kids out for a walk. We went six point something miles. And it was really humid. And when we got to the park, every... We were there maybe like five, six minutes, and all of a sudden, it started to sprinkle, and that humidity got even more irritating, so that was something else. So this one comes with one that goes on top of the cup, on the, 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 the lid, and this one was inside. So it's got two sachets, one in in its innards and one atop. So that's kind of weird. But, you know, what do you do? I'm kind of more excited about the next one I'm doing. I don't know, this could be really good. The next one I'm doing is another spicy one. I did a spicy one from Vietnam the other day and it was really good. So we will see how this one stacks up. I think this might be pretty good too. I don't know though, the whole idea of 
Let's let's have this one, and it's it's black. I have no problem with black things or people or whatnot, but I don't know. I've I've had black ramen before, black shoyu, and it's just been eh, almost seemed kind of gimmicky. It's like why are we going that route? I could see it with like a seafood and having squid ink in it, but. I'm down with the black noodle because that's kind of menacing when it comes to really spicy varieties and generally they're not bad but and I've seen deep deep dark red ones too I even seen blue noodles that those were cool but eh, I don't know Saturday? It's Monday now, but on Saturday, my the, I ordered a battery. So we've got this thing called Buy Nothing, and if you're in the U.S., you probably have it too. It's called the Buy Nothing Project, right? And if you've got stuff that's cool, but you don't want to just throw it in the trash, you can offer it up on Buy Nothing, and it's free. Well, somebody offered up an old uh, Amazon Kindle, like a really old one, and my wife reads while she's waiting for like in between calls and stuff if she has time well she i've been buying her books and i was like well hey what about one of these i really wanted to get her a nice new one but they're expensive found a kindle on there that was like jailbroken and the only problem that the person that was said they you can have it, but the problem is, is the battery only lasts for like 10 minutes, so you need a new battery, and you need to replace it. Battery was like 20 bucks, and replacing it was really, well, we kind of, me and my wife kind of tag teamed figuring out how to replace it. But it's done, and it works, and she's got a whole bunch of books on it, so that is cool. But that's what we did on Saturday after we did what did we do first? Did we go out shopping? We might have had to go out. I think that's what we did. We went out shopping and then did that. But it was a thing. Thing done. Oh yeah, we had to get some grocery style stuff. We had to go to Costco and Walmart. Not like our favorite activity. Okay, so here is our Blake Shoyu. It's not Shoyu Tankatsu, it is just simply black Shoyu. And it, that broth does look really dark. So, let's, let's give this stuff a try, we'll see. Nice thick looking noodle. We'll see if it ended up going well for it. Alright. And there's that broth. Yeah. I'm going to say that noodle's a little rubbery. I, I, I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling that noodle. I wish I was, but I am not. It needs something. I don't know. More or less. Okay. I, I mean, it's an interesting looking bowl of food stuff. I have egg. I'm a little worried about egg. You ask why? Why do you worry about egg? Kind of what I have to do. Where's the. Somebody use the blade of happiness. It's possible. 
We got an egg. It's new name. Hello, funny egg. I think funny egg needs to kind of rest easy on top of these noodles, right? Funny egg. It's a sad little yolk. Decent sized egg though. These are from a food bank. These are like farm fresh eggs. Nothing wrong with them. They're just kind of. There you go. You, you, you two just coexist right there. I think you're going to be all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. no. Come on. I know. I used that in the last one. The coriander wants to get in the mix, and this is really... This noodle, there is no place for coriander in this. Slappity slap. Boop. And a little bit of seed. That's fine. Unsure of what else to do to this other than to let it spin. The next one we got is this spicy beef one that came by way of James from Lakeside, California. Thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, I think this is either Shu or Suke 7 level spicy beef flavor. The, the last one I had was the seafood one, and it was really good. So we'll give this a try, and you'll see it tomorrow. This is on the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one, and bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.